Well, I suppose 1988 and 89 were two very successful years for Tum Stars. Two teams very much with players that played in both years. Two teams that that were probably be best remembered for the amount of characters in their team as the many good footballers they had. And you could start always on Cool Boy and Dennis Dinawan, Ian Doyle, a very good goalkeeper. Never spectacular, but that wasn't what was needed at the time. Any good team always had brothers. The O'Shea's in Kerry, the Cavanaghs in Tyrone, the Brogans in Dublin, even Galway had the Meehans, Gary and Richie Fahey, the Joyces, and Chum had brothers, the Fallons, the O'Dees from Circular Road, beside the post office. And I would say that above all players in that team there were many characters, but there was also leaders, and I think Pete Warden at midfield was probably one of the leaders of that team, playing centre field in both 88 and 89. And I suppose Pete went on to show his leadership with Galway as a selector, and he won on All Ireland in, in, in 98 with Galway in 2001 with John O'Mahony. But probably one of his bigger successes was over the border in Mayo with Michal Davids, and then a Achrinu Crinu and from Davids GA club, a very a small club, but a very proud club, told me, he said, Michal, we haven't had this many medals in the parish since John Paul II came to knock in 79. And I suppose that was probably a true thing to say. So I suppose if you look down through that team, we spoke about leaders, players, reliability. There were brothers and there were characters. And I think there was a young man called Willie Farkin who played. Now, I'm told there was a very bad recession, and we all remember it back in the 80s, and when there were people being scattered around the earth to New York and Boston and England, and times were hard. And I'll tell you how hard they were, because I was told, and Manny and Eden and Willie would show up at trading, not a woolen cap on top of his head, but a tea cosy. Now, as bad as the recession is now, I doubt you'd see Manny Youngfellas out training Gaelic football or hodling that would wear a tea cosy for a hat. But that was probably a measure of the character that Chum had in that team. Tony Keating was another man, a man who went on to become a very successful referee and a very important job. There were other players too, Porrick Morden, Brian Morden, the Purcells, Frank Stockwell. As I said, Fabian Kelly played centre-back. Very good footballers. And I think Jerry Bodkin and Pat O'Neill played corner-back. And Declan Dunn from St. Joseph's Park played cornerback in another year. So I think Jimmy Mullins, Goulash, I think they call him around here, and Faris and Painter, the man you'd see going around with the white overalls. He was a very tidy footballer, and I saw him myself. So I suppose it is probably a great honour for this team to be remembered today. One, two, one, two.